Brazilian women are known for their physical assets, but you don't have to go to Rio to get a beautiful butt. These eight do-anywhere moves inspired by the Brazilian martial art capoeira will help you tighten and tone your tush in no time. I'm Self Fitness Director Megan Buchan. Welcome to Booty Camp. This month, we're lucky to have Brazilian beauty Graciela Alves modeling the moves. She actually practices capoeira regularly. This move is essentially a reverse lunge into a knee strike. It works your butt, your abs, your inner thighs, and your hamstrings. I want you to keep your shoulders above your hips as you stand to protect your lower back. To really tone that butt, use your hips to push your striking knee, not just up, but forward, and tuck your foot in tight on the knee strike. Think about kissing your heel to your butt. Exhale on the strike and really exaggerate the movement. Pow! This move has got a lot of rhythm. It's all about step, lift, kick. This move is gonna challenge your balance a little bit. Couple hints, keep those abs tight. When you activate your abs, it makes it a little bit easier to balance. I also want you to pick a focal point, so when you kick and reach, stare straight out ahead at a point. That's gonna help you stay balanced. Now we're using a medicine ball. You can use a sports ball, a kickball, even a folded towel. It's the act of reaching those arms that throws your balance off and makes your abs do a little work too. This is essentially a rocking lunge into a side escape lunge. So I want you to make sure your legs are square and wide when you're stepping into the squat. I never want you to fully stand when going from one lunge to the other. Stay in a squat by imagining you've got a low ceiling above you. Keep your chest in a low bow, not lifted. You really wanna get deep in that lunge. The lower you get in that squat, the more your butt is gonna feel it. Really. Get low and duck that kick. Get low and duck that kick. All right, I want you to think Donald Duck while you're performing this move. So you're in a deep, low squat, and I want that booty in the air. Think Donald Duck, you know, he pops his tail. That's gonna help your butt keep doing the work, not your thighs. Time for a sit up with a little Brazilian flavor. I want you to sit up with a C curve in your back and extend your leg to the side. Then sweep it across in a crescent kick. Your hands go across the body, so your hands are opposite of your legs. Kick left, hands go right. So we're working our butt, our thighs, and our abs all at once. Think of this as a reaching side lunge. I want you to resist the urge to lift your standing heel. Keep the entire foot flat on the floor and your knee aligned over your ankle. Put weight on your palm to help the leg. And you can reach that hand down all the way to the ground for support. We're really working our butt and our thighs here. You're starting in a regular plank position, so I want abs tight, back flat, wrist directly below your shoulders. Now if you need to, you can modify the position and do it on your knees. You're gonna lift that leg up and push through the heel. Really drive through the heel because that's what activates your tush. I wanna see a little hip action on this move. When you push up from the floor, you really wanna drive those hips up and push through the heel. Squeeze your butt to lift those hips real high and keep your butt lifted throughout if you can. I also want to give you a little hint to make it easier. Give your upper body more stability by pressing into the ground with your hands and squeezing your shoulder blades together. Whenever that foot is flexed, the butt is working hard. Do this kick butt routine three times a week and you'll shift your rear into high gear in as little as one month. <laughs> 